This is Daniel Davis with Fin and Feather Taxidermy. I want to give you some brief instructions on how to properly take care and freeze your bird as you prepare to bring into the studio. First off, when you get home and you have that bird that you want to get mounted, a couple things to note. You're going to take the bird head and you want to keep that head nice and tight and close to the body. If you want, some people like to take this head and go ahead and tuck it under the wing. Either option's good. We just want to make sure that when this bird goes in the bag, that head's nice and tight. If you freeze your bird with the head extended like this, if any pressure in the freezer, or if you accidentally drop it on the ground, that head can be broken off, and that does not make for a quality mount. All we're gonna do simply is take a regular gallon Ziploc baggie, freezer bags preferred. Go ahead and take your bird, slide it into the bag. Remember, we're wanting to keep that head nice and tight next to the body. Don't keep it extended or in a weird position. Now we just want to squeeze any excess air that may be in the bag out and go ahead and seal it off. That simple. Now if you don't have a freezer bag or a gallon bag at home, another option to do, even with some bigger birds, especially with pheasants, go ahead and take a regular garbage bag Remember to keep that head nice and tight by the body. Get the bird in the bag, get any extra air that may be in and out. And then at this point, you can go ahead and tape off this end, tie it off, whatever you need to do to make sure that this bag stays airtight. Maybe put it in another bag if you're concerned about it. Remember that a quality mount begins with your initial preparations and properly taking care and freezing your birds before you bring them into the studio. Our goal is to make sure these birds don't get freezer burned in the time being. Don't put your birds in a frost-free freezer as well. That adds to freezer burn and can actually accelerate the rate that freezer burn occurs. So make sure your freezer is not frost-free and if it is, find a different freezer or bring it in as soon as possible. Another thing to not do don't put your birds in pantyhose. I know it's popular and it's been said for a long time because the idea that it keeps your bird tight and feathers smooth may be appealing, but it's probably one of the worst things you can do for your trophy bird. Following these simple steps will ensure that your trophy bird comes into the studio in its best condition. Thanks.